is up everybody Jesse here I know it's been a while since I made a video um, but I just wanted to make one today in light of all of that's uh, going on right now and um, just kind of like try to look at this from like uh, a different perspective um, and what I'm seeing is kind of like, um, so at the time of this video, uh, the COVID-19 is like rampaging the fear mongering in media and all over uh, the US and kind of all over the world right now, um, which I understand I'm not detracting from those that have gotten it, suffered through it, lost loved ones from it. Um, I'm just kind of looking at it from this perspective of going into grocery stores and literally seeing every item in the grocery store gone. Um, and so I wanted to make this video to share some abundance that we kind of all get um, because here I sit at 11 o'clock in the morning um, just chilling just made this amazing delicious breakfast with the few items that we do have in our home um, just sipping coffee and kind of looking at this as like a mandatory um, so like where I'm at in North Carolina our governor has basically shut down businesses uh, all restaurants bars um, and I am still a working musician so that means that all my gigs are canceled uh, for at least two weeks so no income for two weeks um, also no toilet paper <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I don't know, I mean, I guess my point here is that, um, like I just said, like, I'm just chilling, uh, and I'm looking at what I do have, and, like, all of this, like, abundance that really surrounds all of us, and now we're being given the abundance of time, um, and you may, like, be thinking, like, but I need to work and I need to make money and like, uh, and I get that, like, you know, and all of us do. Um, and I know that like, maybe this moment isn't your time of choosing to be on your vacation. Um, but that's kind of what this is. It's like this weird gift, uh, to just like, it's like someone is hitting the mandatory, like, you're gonna chill. Like, you're chilling at home. Uh, you know, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to go out. You need to, uh, and more than likely, you know, I'm speaking to, I understand that there's a lot of people that don't have a lot. Um, but for the majority of you, and more than likely if you're watching this, uh, you have more than enough. Um, so, like, clean out your pantry. Clean out your fridge. Like, uh, maybe even take this opportunity to detox and fast. Uh, like the other day, I ate one meal, and it was an amazing day, and I had extraordinary amounts of energy all day. You can ask my girlfriend, I might have even been on the verge of driving her crazy with how much energy that I had. Uh, and now, uh, you know, um... I'm losing work, so I'm taking this time to like educate myself on uh, business and finances and more nutrition stuff because I love that so much. And uh, listening to like my bodybuilder guys, um, Jeff Cavalier, like love him. Uh, uh, going through like Russell Brunson's like ClickFunnels stuff, love him. Listening to more Tony Robbins stuff, love him. Like. I'm seeing this huge opportunity of time 
where it's kind of like you're being given a sick day, but you're not sick. So to those of you out there that are, uh, you know, kind of in a panic or like uh, looking at these things from like a fear-based perspective, um, the first thing that I would do is pause. Uh, and I would say that out loud, especially when my thoughts, I do this all the time, uh, and it's like an amazing trick. Uh, and um, a really cool thing that you should understand and, and uh, like can glean from this, if this is the only thing that you do get out of this video, is that um, words have power. Uh, and our brains are very similar to a computer. And words are like key codes to this computer. Uh, and um, say something enough times and you actually start to believe it. Um, and it's like, it's a very true thing. So you start seeing your thought processes kind of tumbling down a hill. You can just hit the pause button and, and go, literally say pause, uh, intentionally take some deeper breath, and then kind of look at the landscape of the resources that you have around me. And I'm saying this because, um, I got on a phone call with a friend the other day and, you know, I'm not naming any names, you know who you are, uh, and much love to you. Um, and my friend was about to, like, in a panic, uh, you know, he had, he has a set amount of money and he's also a musician and, like, the rest of us, all of our jobs basically just got cancelled like in a snap of a governor's finger. Um, so he's got a set amount of money and it's the only money that he's got. Um, he hadn't bought any food. Uh, he was already freaking out about paying his landlord for the rent, like all of us kind of are. Uh, and so like in this panicky sort of mindset, he was like, oh, I'm gonna drive to uh, this place, uh, like, you know, I can get to, like, my family, and, um, and once I'm there, you know, I can have free food and a place to, like, decompress from all of this craziness that's happening around us, and I was like, whoa, 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 pause, um, now let's think about what you're saying, uh, you're going to take the last amount of money that you have and spend, uh, almost half of it on gas and then you being a young individual you're going to go to a place where there are older people and very younger people so if you're carrying the virus then you're literally exposing them to something that they might die from uh, and uh, you're worrying about paying your bills, uh, but you're about to spend half your money on gas so that you can get to somewhere that has free food. And when I started to like say it in these sorts of ways, I wasn't that like condescending. Um, I was just trying to uh, see what was on the table. And I was like, so if you stay here, and like I understand, uh, he actually called me and was like, hey, do you know anyone hiring for work right now? Like I just lost thousands of dollars because all my gigs got canceled. And I was like, no. Um, and I was like, but you started this conversation off with like looking for a job and I was like, if you go to this far away place where your family is, your family is your only resource. Uh, and here, where you already are, you have hundreds of resources surrounding you. Uh, you have many, many friends all around you, and I'm willing to bet that if you are watching this video, you're in a similar situation. Uh, if you're reacting out of fear, 
you should look around you at the people that are in your community, that are in your life. Uh, the people that you know, these are your resources, they're your friends. Um, and if we don't use fear as our barometer, uh, if we use love as our barometer, we're gonna, like, we can just look at this whole thing that we're doing, that we're having to go through, even though it's against our will. Uh, it's like a mandatory recovery time. So, um, at the end of the conversation with my friend, uh, he realized, uh, and, and especially after I was like, hey, you can, uh, with the amount of money that you have, uh, I think it was like 500 bucks, I was like, for a single person, you should be able to comfortably eat off that for about seven weeks. Uh, and I know this because I used to log in all of my food entries into a spreadsheet. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but uh, I've been through a lot of financial peril. Um, and uh, I figured out how to get... I think I was getting 3,000 calories a day for something like $45, $47 a week. Um, so I told him what to go get, mainly uh, dry lentils. Uh, if you guys want to know, if you're interested at all, uh, dry lentils, they cost about $2 a pound. Uh, and there are always tons of them because nobody wants that stuff. And even in times like this, people go out and buy all the canned food, which costs twice as much, and you get, like, a quarter of what you would get from the dry material. Uh, so dry lentils, dry rice, I get all organic stuff. Oatmeal. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, oatmeal, organic, um... And then, like, frozen vegetables, if there are any left. And the last time I went to the grocery store, there was basically none. Uh, but there was still green beans, which uh, I guess isn't attractive to anyone um, because nobody touched it. Green beans, edamame, there was corn, uh, there was mixed medley, uh, there was artichoke and asparagus. Uh, so there's still stuff. Um, you. And, like, this is, you know, I was saying this for him because it's, like, the cheapest way to go. Uh, so, I guess the essence of this whole video is take this time to, like, not use fear to make your decisions with. And, like, sleep in and have an extra cup of coffee. And maybe try not eating for a day. Uh, so that your body can go into autophagy and clean out all of its cells and help you burn fat and build muscle and give you a cognitive performance and all while doing that boost your immune system like so super high uh, it's amazing what can happen when you don't eat try it every day for seven days maybe try one meal a day uh, like, look at this as an opportunity to try something new, do something different. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to make this uh, public service announcement to remind people, um, remind you all that you are all capable of responding out of love and to turn off your TV and pick up a book and like educate yourself or spend time feeding your mind or meditate or just drink extra water uh like this is an amazing gift that you're being given how often are you required to stay at home for two weeks um for us from where we live it happens every year normally due to a hurricane and our fridge goes out uh, you can't drive anywhere uh, it's like chaotic and crazy and yet our refrigerators aren't going out the roads are still open the sun is shining like you can still go on a walk you can still ride your bike you can uh, there's like a million things uh, if you just 
look at your resources and tap into them. Uh, my name is Jesse Stockton. I'm with Life Accelerator Coaching, and I hope this helped.